Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sets video. Today's video is going to be all about Butterfree, so let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Butterfree is the original bug flying type Pokemon introduced in Generation 1, and it possesses two unique abilities, the first of which being Compound Eyes, which is an ability that increases Butterfree's accuracy by 30%. Now with this accuracy increase, it allows you to use some less reliable moves to much greater success, such as Sleep Powder or Stun Spore and things like that. Now with those two moves in particular, both of which have 75% accuracy, with the Compound Eyes boost to your accuracy, both of those moves have 97.5% uh, accuracy, meaning you will pretty much never miss with them, almost guaranteeing that Butterfree will be able to at least put something to sleep or paralyze something if you use either of those moves on this Pokemon. As for its second ability, it is known as Tinted Lens, which allows Butterfree's not very effective attacks to have their damage doubled. So for example, if you just wanted to go with Bug Buzz as your only attacking move, you can pretty much get away with that, unless you're up against something that will four times resist Bug Buzz, like Heatran or something like that. But for a Pokemon like Flareon, you will, able, you will be able to hit it with Bug Buzz for regular damage, as if you were attacking a normal type Pokemon. But for a Pokemon that does quad resist it, like Heatran, you actually just get a regular resist to the move, so it still does quite a bit more damage, which is really awesome, and definitely makes this one of the best offensive abilities in the game. But as for the stats, Butterfree's defenses are not too fantastic, but you could definitely justify running a specially defensive set because of its really nice base 80 special defense. Now its base 60 HP does make this a little bit difficult, and its bug flying typing, giving it a 4 times weakness to stealth wreck, does make using it defensively a little bit harder than normal, but it's still doable, especially because it has access to roost and other really good moves that can support your team. Now its base 50 defense unfortunately is not that great, so it's not going to be able to take physical attacks that well, however the bug flying typing does quad resist fighting type moves which are incredibly common, so you can still make use of it for the quad resist regardless of its defense not being that great. But as for its attacking stats, Butterfree's physical attack unfortunately is a very low 45, but its special attack is a really nice base 90, allowing it to potentially do a lot of damage from the special side. And obviously, Butterfree being, you know, a bug flying type thing with wings, gets access to Quiver Dance, allowing it to boost its special attack even further and potentially do more damage as well as boosting its speed. Now its speed is fairly low compared to many others being only base 70, but obviously with the usefulness of Quiver Dance you can buff that on a more offensive set. However, because I like to make these videos to kind of show off things a Pokemon normally isn't seen doing, we aren't going to be seeing any Quiver Dance sets in this video because they're pretty much the exact same thing, like that is what you generally use Butterfree for. But I have two new kind of fun interesting sets to use with this Pokemon that I really like. So let's kick it off with the first one, which is a specially defensive Butterfree set. So for this first set, we're going to begin by giving Butterfree a Calm Nature to increase its special defense and lower its physical attack and then going with the Compound Eyes ability. As for the EVs, we're going to put 248 into HP to give it its highest HP number possible. That's also an odd number because it is weak to Stealth Rock. And then we're also going to max its Special Defense with 252 EVs into that and put the remainder 8 EVs into Speed. Now it is important to note that if you are going to be using this Butterfree over level uh, 50 Wi-Fi, such as battling on your X and Y carts, you're actually going to want to use 252 HP EVs to get an odd number and then that means you're only going to put 4 EVs into your Speed. I wrote, I wrote that down there just so that you all know that for future reference, but if you're going to use this for level 100, such as on Showdown or something like that, you would want to only put 248 in HP. And for the item, we're going to be going with Leftovers to allow Butterfree to recover a little bit of health at the end of every turn. But for the moves, the first thing that we're going to be going with is Sleep Powder. Now one amazing thing about Butterfree is that even though Grass types are now immune to Sleep, sleep Powder, what Grass type is going to want to switch in on Butterfree? Because it possesses two types that hit grass super effectively. Do you see where I'm going with this? So you're pretty much guaranteed to put something to sleep because no one's going to switch in a grass type. However, obviously there are things with Sap Sipper and Insomnia, Vital Spirit, all that good stuff, but you are pretty much guaranteed to put something to sleep if you predict correctly and your opponent doesn't really have anything to take it because of the Compound Eyes ability. Now along with that, we're going to be making use of a move that Butterfree gets through the use of a 4th gen move tutor in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, or Hard Gold, Soul, Silver, I forget which game it actually is, but 4th gen, which is Defog, which is a move that has been buffed considerably in 6th gen, which most of you already most likely know about. Um, and what it does is it basically, instead of just removing the hazards on your opponent's side of the field, 
it now removes the hazards on your side of the field as well, allowing you to basically use Butterfree as like a rapid spitter, but for both sides of the field. So it does have its drawback and then it gets rid of your opponent's hazards, but it also gets rid of yours, which if you're using a Butterfree is really important because Butterfree loses half of its health when it switches in on Stealth Rock. But along with that, we're going to be using Bug Buzz as our main bug type attacking move. Also really great now that it goes through subs, allowing Butterfree to easily switch in on any sub seater or something like that and just, you know, Bug Buzz through the sub and take it out very easily. And then the last move we're going to be going with is Roost to allow Butterfree to recover health. Um, that's obviously really great, especially if you're up against a special attacker, which Butterfree obviously will do really well against because it's especially defensive and Roost will help you in regaining health to continue to wall off those special attackers. And one amazing thing about this is this allows Butterfree to basically check the majority of grass types in NU where it is currently listed. Um, the only thing that you would probably have a problem with is something running Hidden Power Rock, which isn't too common, but you still see it every now and then, so that is important to note, as well as also um, the goat potentially running Rock Slide or something like that. But overall, you can basically get a really really useful Pokemon that not only can put something to sleep, but also can get rid of hazards, which not a lot of Pokemon can do both of, and also be a really good check to grass types while being a special wall. So this is why I wanted to show off a special defensive Butterfree, because you typically won't see something like this, but it can definitely be very effective. As for this next set, this is possibly one of the coolest things I think I have come up with in a really long time, and it allows some viability to some moves that I really don't think were that useful, but together can really work awesomely on this set. So we're going to start this set off by giving Butterfree a timid nature to increase its speed but lower its physical attack, and for the ability we're again going to be going with Compound Eyes. As the EVs, we're going to put 248 into HP just like in the previous set to give you your highest odd HP possible, 8 in your special defense, and then max your speed with 252 EVs into that to make Butterfree as fast as possible. And again, if you are going to be using this set at level 50 Wi-Fi over Pokemon X and Y games, you're going to want to put 252 EVs in HP and 4 in your special defense instead to give you the odd HP number that you're after. And again, we're going to be using the leftovers item to allow Butterfree to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. Now for the moves, um, these are basically meant to nightmare trap your opponent, which is something that I did not know was possible until just recently. And Butterfree can do this a lot better than most other Pokemon that actually have access to similar moves like this because it has the most accurate sleep inducing move than any of those other Pokemon. So the way the set works is you're going to start by going for infestation to trap your opponent. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go for sleep powder to put them asleep. Now the reason why we're running so many speed EVs on the set is so that Butterfree will always outspeed and put something to sleep. Now, the great thing about this is your opponent is trapped, they're asleep, and they can't switch out unless they're a ghost type or something like that. But with that, that means you're basically able to get up a free sub and not worry about your opponent to switch into anything right after that. And when they wake up, they're still trapped and they have to break your sub. So when they break your sub, you can just put them back to sleep and then trap them again so they can't leave. Um, and this is possibly one of the best counters to any slow Pokemon running a salt vest or something like that because they're just slowly losing damage because they don't have leftovers or something like that um, and you can just easily take it out uh, which is really cool but to work along with this trapping and putting your opponent to sleep Butterfree interestingly enough gets access to Nightmare via Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness the GameCube game um, through a move tutor in that game so you have to use compound eyes because that was the only ability Butterfree had back then so you can't run this with tinted lens it'd be cool but I don't really see a benefit to it either but you have to run it with compound eyes and it's extremely difficult to get this I suppose but it's really cool and I'm gonna show you in a second so basically you put things to sleep after you trap them you nightmare them so that they take increased damage after they have already been put to sleep and then you substitute to get behind a protective bear to shield you from an attack when they wake up, put them right back to sleep, continue to trap them, and nightmare them. So you can basically take out a Pokemon using Nightmare, which is one of those moves that I just felt like was never going to be competitively useful because your opponent can just switch. But because they're trapped with Infestation, they can't switch. So let's take a look at a clip that I have of me using the set in a battle to show you how this works. So in this clip, I start off by showing you that I switch it on Quillfish, which I think Butterfree can handle very easily. So I'm going to first go for the Infestation to trap my opponent, and now that he can't switch out, I am free to go for the Sleep Powder on the following turn to put him asleep and make it so that he 
is pretty much unable to attack until he's dead. So unfortunately though, he's gonna get a first turn wake right here, which translates to more or less like a half turn wake since he used priority move on this turn as I go for the Nightmare. So I did get a little bit unlucky right here, um, but I'm gonna put him asleep again. Um, I can live another Aqua Jet thankfully because that doesn't do too much damage. Um, and now he's asleep and he's infested. So I know for a fact that hopefully this time I will be able to actually go for the Nightmare. It is successful. And now he's going to be losing 25% of his health from Nightmare every turn and 12% from infest Infestation. Now, he could have actually switched out right there, and he didn't. Um, I just had really bad luck with the turns Infestation was active for and the turns he was asleep for at the beginning of this. So I wanted to show you that even if you do get bad luck with this combination, it can still work. Because as you see right now, I get up a free sub at the end, and he dies to the Nightmare, allowing me to have a free sub up against whatever he wants to switch in afterwards, which is a huge advantage for me, because even if it is faster than me, I can pretty much just put it right to sleep, because it'll have to break the sub first, which is awesome. Now, if you did see, he did have a pie roar, so that kind of defeated the purpose of the sub, because it generally packs Hyper Voice, but typically that won't be the case. Um, and I've actually had a lot of success using this set, like that wasn't the only scenario where this has happened, I only wanted to show that one off because I got really bad luck with it and still managed to make it work. Um, and it's just really frustrating for your opponent, especially if they don't have leftovers because they will just constantly lose health from infestation and then you won't even have to worry about going for Nightmare. Um, it's kind of just like a icing on the cake move if you get the ability to. Um, but typically most of the damage will come from infestation and just constantly putting your opponent to sleep while well, you set up a, a substitute to get behind a protective bear and shield it from whatever attack it wants to go against you on the turn that it wakes up and then you just put it right back to sleep and set up another sub again and it's just kind of this cycle that is very frustrating for your opponent to deal with and works extremely well on this set um, it's very unique for Butterfree and I really wanted to show this off because I was pretty proud of it when I came up with it. I hope you all try this out because it's a ton of fun as well as also the first set in this video allowing Butterfree to be a specially defensive defogger, which is really cool. Nobody expects that from this thing. Um, but overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, you know, two sets on Butterfree that I think nobody would have come up with before. And it's really effective to use both of them and figure out new ways to use this Pokemon as opposed to just the typical Quiver Dancing Butterfree that you will see probably 99% of the time. But anyways, everybody, that is it. So as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.